I'm here this morning with Joe, and she has a camper that sits on top of her 4x4 diesel truck. And what we're going to do today is we're going to show how to remove the camper off of her truck and pull the truck out of the way and caulk some areas on the camper that need it. So what do you think, Joe? Is, is that about what we're doing? Actually, I'm going to do the caulking if it needs any. All I need is help with the removal and then putting the truck back under the camper. So this is uh, an ex inspection first and yeah. possibly a caulk job later. Exactly, because I caulked the sides I could reach during the summer and I just want to see what's, if there's anything back here that needs some attention. So you're not seeing anything on the inside of your rig that would indicate that you're getting moisture in. You, this is all preventative. All right, well, let's go ahead and go through the steps to raise your rig and unhook it from the truck and pull it out. Great. All right, let's do it. So you have a camper jack control and it's got a, a button for all four contact points. And let's just try it and see if it's, uh, let's see if it's got power to it right now. You can edit it. <laughs> Look at that. Just like in the brochure. We're not sure about the ground, how solid it is. Some of the areas around here seem pretty soft. So just as an extra precaution, we're going to put some wood underneath all four of the feet to widen that footprint. That's in place before we raise it. I don't know if we're going to create tension on this turnbuckle. This is no, called yeah, a turnbuckle. You don't want much weight on right here. So before we bring these down to the contact points, we want to release all the tension off of them. I think you want to do this. Am I going the right way or is it? Uh, I mean, we're going to need a wrench. You need to back up. Then you unplug this here and you fix this up through here so you can get it up away from the bumper and stuff. Bring it up through here and see you bring it over here out of the way and you can hang it like on the jack or something to get it out of the way. See? If we don't pull it out and hang it on the camper, she's going to drive away and pull this plug off because it's going to be hooked to the bumper. So there's five contact yeah, points, the four feet and the plug. All right, so do we need to close this thing up for her to, I guess it's not gonna move. Some people close the door and some don't, it's her home. Hey, Jamie, I need to run this a little bit. To See the hook? If it throws the back end up and it's not high enough, the uh, camper can hit the uh, bed. So and the hook on the ground? Yeah, because the cars are gonna hit them pumps as they go in and out. So we wanna make sure are we're you up getting high that? enough. We wanna make sure we're up high enough that we're not gonna drag. So after she warms the truck up, we'll have her pull forward slowly and we're watching it if we'll have her stop if we need to. We don't want to go any higher than we have to, but we want to go high enough that if she hits a bump or anything with her car, it don't slam the truck into the camper. So we've raised the, the four feet and we've disconnected the cable. The very last thing that we need to do after the truck is warm is look at the terrain that we're going to drive over and make sure that the back tires don't drive over a hump and catch that trailer and pull it forward. So we're just going to pull it slowly forward to make sure that we're perfectly clear of it. by yourself and you don't have a bunch of people to watch for you, just pull up a little bit and get out and walk around. Even if you get out and walk around a few times and it takes you a little bit more time, it's still better than breaking something. But we want to put them in and then that way when you go back in. So come around and, and uh, put the sun in my face if you would. What Larry and Eddie are doing now is they're sliding the connection brackets from the back that fasten the camper on the back down tight. They're, they're pulling out the pins and sliding them in so when she goes to back, back up, we don't have to have it absolutely perfectly aligned to uh, not have any trouble. So we're just putting everything in our favor so when she backs up, she's got plenty of clearance. 
So with the truck pulled out and the trailer up off the ground like this, let's talk to Joe about what she wants to do with her camper before we uh, go any further. I'm gonna look under it first while it's up and then I can let it go down on my own and somewhat. And then as soon as I do any caulking, I'll be ready to move this back in, maybe tomorrow. Okay. Is that good? So, okay, yeah. Thank you, everybody. Well, You're welcome. So, what do you think? Right. Let's take a look. It looks really good. So, yeah, it does. Out there in the so, so, I'll just re caulk this, you know, clean it and caulk it. Do you have the stuff already? I have it all, yeah. Because I did all this other caulking this summer. Joe has now caulked all of the areas that she wanted to seal. And tell us a little bit about what you used and how that went. Okay, well, first of all, I'm glad that we lifted it up because I realized I wanted the Titan screws that I couldn't access earlier, so I did that. And then this Proflex RV flexible sealant is what I used. Where'd you get that? I actually got it online after a fair amount of research. I have this for the sides and I have a different caulk for the, the top for the horizontal surfaces. Okay, let's have a look up close and see how it came out. I really like the job you did. I think it looks good. I ran out and someone gave me another tube of silicone, so I just <laughs> did this this morning. Rubber. So, uh, silicone around that. It's not, to, it's not to be pretty, it's just to be functional. Mm, I think it looks great. Thank you. And without any water damage before you did this, now you've really ensured that you're sealed and ready to go for a long time to come. And you don't typically come out to a spot <laughs> when you camp and drop your your uh, RV off, your camper off, and drive. So usually this is always sitting on top of the truck. That's right. So it was kind of a big deal to pull the truck out it was. yesterday. Also, there are a couple places that I saw little gaps, so I put steel wool, which was recommended as opposed to foam. Oh, I did a little foam down there, but just stuffed steel wool in these little gaps. And the steel wool is to prevent mice from yeah, running sorry, away? Yeah, sorry, it is. Okay. It anything, but apparently not that. So I think the job looks great. Are we ready to go ahead and back the truck up and Thanks. get you back going? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Split our brackets in the back end as far as they would go to give us a lot of clearance while we back up. up 
and then after Joe goes for a couple of rides, she can come back and check them and take any of the play out from when it's bouncing around a little bit and shifting. What do you think? I think um, I'm, it's mysterious to me how you know how tight to make these. We, we I did learn that the that the springs in here are like almost dead, so I'll have to have to replace soon. Springs? There's springs inside this yeah. thing, and that's what allows it to bounce. So it doesn't pull this apart. You see, it's already buckled some up there. Yeah. So it's like not to be too tight, but I never really understood what too tight is. But I think. Well, there's a German term for it. Guten Tag. <laughs> oh, Guten Tag. Guten Tag. That locks that in place. We're ready to go ahead and go all the way up with our feet. Yay! <laughs> Very big deal to me. Well, it was a big deal to everybody. Appreciate it so much. Shall we go ahead and raise those feet up? I don't want to walk away until those feet are up. I don't feel comfortable. What do you mean? They raise the feet up, they're up. We gotta get them all the way up so when you're driving, they don't catch on something. Oh, of course, but I'm not gonna drive yet. I just don't want you to forget. Oh no, believe me, it's what I do every time I'm... So you're going to use them to stabilize while you're camping? That's what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah. That, in that case, it's okay. Oh yeah, I'm I just gonna... don't want to forget and leave these out and have you drive it off and have one catch on a... It's one thing I haven't forgotten. Stop or something. <laughs> all right, with well, Joe all set to go on her, Rick, can I get a hug from you? Oh, please. Thank, Thank you. you very much Thank for letting you. us help you. So Joe's all set. Let's head over and see how Michael's doing on his generator that we started working on yesterday. Show that on the camera. <laughs> Show that again. We had visitors in camp last night. Okay. 